Welcome to this video showing you how to install Trulia Vault for Kubernetes on OpenShift. For this demonstration we have OpenShift 4.2 already installed. As part of this video we'll deploy Helm into this environment and as Trulia Vault for Kubernetes utilizes the CSI we'll install the simple host path CSI driver as an example. The installation is very straightforward so once we're done we'll then show you how to configure a backup target ready for you to start creating workloads and backup jobs using Trilio Vault for Kubernetes. With Trilio Vault for Kubernetes, we can backup a Kubernetes application that was launched using a variety of methods. We're installing Helm here to allow you to backup and restore your Helm based applications. Trilio Vault for Kubernetes utilizes the CSI to perform snapshots of persistent volumes. For this tutorial, we're installing the simple host path CSI driver from Git then ensuring we're setting the security context for correct function within OpenShift. As you can see, we have new host path CSI pods now running in our OpenShift environment. With the driver installed, a couple of resources need to be created. The volume snapshot class and the storage class resources that will allow us to utilize the storage as well as take volume snapshots. Now, in this step, we're just going to validate our host path CSI driver by creating a persistent volume and performing a snapshot. When a snapshot completes, the ready to use output will show as true. To validate that our snapshot is correct, check the UID of the snapshot corresponds with the UID as displayed in the describe output above. Now that we have done some basic checks and installed the appropriate CSI driver for our demonstration, we can simply install the Trilio Vault operator. For this tutorial, we're deploying into the OpenShift marketplace namespace. Continuing using OC commands, we first create the catalog source for the Trilio Vault operator. Once this manifest pod is running, we can create the operator group in the OpenShift marketplace namespace. We're going to create the subscription at the cluster level and check that it is in a succeeded state, like so. And finally, the installation is complete when we can see the Trilio Vault for Kubernetes operator pods are running, like so. Now a quick test of utilizing the Trilio Vault for Kubernetes operator is to create a backup target utilizing the target resource. For this demonstration, we're going to be using an AWS3 bucket as our target. An example can be seen here. And finally, you can do an OC get targets to view this created resource, which can then be included as your backup target for your Kubernetes workload. Now that we have Trilio Vault for Kubernetes installed in OpenShift, we can head over to our OpenShift dashboard and verify the installation. View the installed operators in the OpenShift marketplace and you will find the Trulia Vault for Kubernetes operator. Thank you for your time watching this video on Trulia Vault for Kubernetes.